Hello friends, welcome to this exercise on how to identify the terminals, parts and connections of different types of DC machines. At the end of this video, you will be able to read and interpret the nameplate details of the given DC machine, determine the pairs of terminals of the windings of the DC machine by the test lamp method, test and identify the field and armature terminals of the DC machine by the test lamp method, identify the parts of DC machines, Connect different types of DC machines. Let us arrange the tools and machinery required to do this exercise. Insulated combination pliers, screwdriver, double-ended spanner set, DC compound machine 220 volts, dismantled DC machine, PVC insulated copper wire, KitKat fuse unit, pendant lamp holder, single pole single throw switch, incandescent lamp, Digital Multimeter Read and interpret the nameplate details and identify the terminals of a DC compound machine. Read the nameplate details of the given DC compound machine. Remove the terminal box cover and sketch the layout of the terminals. Do not spoil screw heads or nuts nor lose them while removing the terminal cover. As there is no marking on the terminal, give your own markings as shown. Test and identify the pairs of terminals of a DC compound machine. Prepare a test lamp for 240 volt 25 watt. Identify one of the cables as the phase cable and connect it to the test lamp through the switch fuse. Care should be taken to avoid any part of your body coming in contact with bare portion of the prods. It may cause shock hazard. Keep the switch in off position when the test lamp is not in use. Connect one end, say prod one of the test lamp to terminal one and touch the other end of the test lamp that is prod two to the rest of the terminals one by one. Check the condition of the lamp. If the lamp glows while touching any one of the other terminals, then the terminal connected to prod one and prod two form pairs of the same circuit. Record the observations in tabulation. Connect one end of the terminal say prod one of the test lamp to another terminal as shown and repeat the same to find the second pair of terminals and write the results in the table and name the pair of terminals like a1 and a2 b1 and b2 c1 and c2 respectively the test lamp burns brightly in both armatures and series field terminals as the respective inductive resistance is of low value whereas the shunt field circuit the light may burn dim when touched it may give off some sparks only due to the high inductive react conclusion Armature terminals A1 and A2, shunt field terminals E1 and E2, series field terminals D1 and D2. Check the other two left out terminals to ascertain whether they belong to the same pairs of terminals. The pairs of terminals on which the lamp either burns dim or the broad contact point gives spark are the shunt field terminals. You might have observed this experiment. The lamp glows rather brightly two sets or pairs of terminals. They belong to the armature and series field. Identify the armature terminal pairs out of two pairs of low resistance terminals. Connect one end of the test lamp say prod one to any one of the identified low resistance pairs that is where the lamp was burning bright and touch the other end to any one of the brushes. Take care that the test lamp terminal does not touch the body or frame of the machine or any other metal part except the brush. If the test lamp burns then the pair belongs to armature terminals. If not try the other pairs. Mark the terminals as A1 and A2. The remaining two terminals will be of series field terminals. Mark them as D1 and D2. Identification of terminals in DC compound machine using multimeter. Take a digital multimeter and set it in continuity mode. Touch both probes together and ensure the beep sound occurs. Place one probe at terminal 1 on the DC compound machine and the other probe on the rest of the terminals one by one. If the multimeter produces sound while touching any one of the other terminals, then the terminals connected to the probe of the multimeter form pairs of the same circuit. Same way, identify the other two pairs of terminals and mark pairs as A1 and A2, B1 and B2, C1 and C2 respectively. To identify the armature, series and shunt field windings, change the multimeter to resistance mode at low range. Place the probes across the terminals A1 and A2, B1 and B2, C1 and C2 and note down the resistance value in the tablish. The lowest value of resistance is identified as series field winding and reading more than lowest is armature winding and the highest resistance value is identified as shunt field winding. Identify the parts of DC machine. Read and interpret the nameplate details of the DC machine. Identify the parts of the DC machine. Put the label on each parts with numbers.
Record the name of the parts and draw the sketches of each part. Identify terminals and connect DC shunt generator. Let the terminals A1 and A2 be armature terminals, E1 and E2 be shunt field terminals. Connect field winding to the armature terminal in parallel. Connect shunt field winding E1 to armature terminal A1 and similarly connect E2 to A2. Connect the armature terminal A1 to the positive terminal of the load and A2 to the negative terminal of the load. Identify terminals and connect DC series generator. Connect the field winding and armature windings in series. Connect the series field winding D1 to armature terminal A2. Connect the armature terminal A1 and series field terminal D2 to the positive and negative terminals of the load respectively. Connect various DC compound generator. Connect shunt field terminal E1 to armature terminal A1. Connect A1 to D1 and then D2 to the positive terminal of the load. Connect the shunt field winding E2 to the armature terminal A2 and then to the negative terminals of the load. Long shunt compound generator. Connect the armature terminal A1 to series field terminal D1 and connect shunt field terminal E1 to D2 of the series field terminal then E2 and A2. Connect the positive terminal of the load to E1 or D2 and the negative terminal of the load to E2 or A2. Connect the machine as per the connection diagram for short shunt cumulative compound and short shunt differential compound generator. Connect the machine as per the connection diagram for differential long shunt cumulative compound and long shunt differential compound generator. I hope after watching this video, you will be able to read and interpret the nameplate details of the given DC machine, determine the pairs of terminal of the windings of the DC machine by the test lamp method, test and identify the field and armature terminals of the DC machine by the test lamp method, identify the parts of DC machines, connect different types of DC machines. This includes the exercise identify the terminals and parts of DC machines and make different connections to them. See you in the next exercise.